Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we're gonna look at a script that I've created while I was streaming on Twitch. So I thought I would make the short version and post it on my channel. So the first thing we need to do is we need to connect to SharePoint Online. And the URL that I have here is the URL that you see on the right side, which is the site collection. And the goal of this script is to split the data that we have in one column into two columns. The next step is to retrieve the list that I've created that you see on the right that is called clients. And this is just a basic list where I only have a full name, first name and last name. So obviously the intention here is to enter the full name and split the data that we have into the first name and the last name columns. So we use the get PNP list, give the name of the list and we store everything into a variable. Now let's double check that my list variable is actually returning something. And indeed, we have our list clients. Let me just expand this. Now this is what we get with the script. So the first thing is we're going to create the array called result. And then we're going to get all the items that we have in this list and store them in a variable called all items. Now, if we pause for a second there, we need to think about what we are trying to do here. So we have one column that will contain the first name and the last name. So we need to split this data in order to have two different objects. And that's what we do in the for each loop. So for each item that we have in all the items in the list, we want to grab the item full name and we want to split it where there's a space. Then we want to take the first object, which will be the first name. And you can see the array with the number zero because that's the first item. And then the last name will be the second object with the number one in the array. Then we create a custom object. And here I've just put ordered, but that's just a preference. You don't have to do it. So for the full name object, we will use the item full name. The first name would be the item first name and the last name would be the item last name. And once we get this, this is where we actually set the items that we have in the list and we use the set PNP list item. We provide the list name, which is clients. The identity will be the item itself. And for the values, we assign our first name and the first name that you see here between quotes is actually the internal name of the column, which will be equal to our variable, which is called first name split and the last name, the last name split. So before we run the script, let's create a few items in the list. So I've created two items. So when I run the script, normally the full name column will be dispatched into the first name and the last name. So let's run the script. And you could see actually at the same time on the right side that the data was split. Now this script is only working when you have some data already in your list. So I would think that if you wanna automate the whole process, you could actually create a flow that would go like every time that an item is created in that list, then split the data between the first name and the last name columns. Now that's it for today. I will also put the script on GitHub if you're interested in it or if you want to make it better according to your scenario. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can receive a notification when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Deep, 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 de